everyone. Welcome to my craft room. Hi, Glenda Mullet here. I'm home from vacation. Well, actually in between vacations, I guess, sort of. We leave again Saturday for the next round. So, but tonight I'm going to share with you how to make a card using the Oceanfront stamp set. Now, this stamp set, you can't read it, but it doesn't have sentiments, so it's okay. I wasn't going to get this stamp set. I thought, ugh, like, what do I need that one for? But, oh my goodness, let me tell you how much fun I'm having with this stamp set. It is amazing. And I've paired it with On the Horizon tonight. Not the designer paper, the stamp set and the dies. Yep, I'm having fun. So, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy my card tonight. Hi, Janet. And I'll flip you around because I have a couple of cards to show you that I received while I was away. And so I figured I might as well show them to you tonight. So hang on. Let me flip you. I'll be right back. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and then I, I, I was going to... I was going to... Um, was, hang on, I'm trying to deal with this. I was going to share this because I'm live on my Facebook page and I wanted to share it in my group. So let me just find it and I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it to my VIP group. There we go. Okay, so now... You can watch it no matter where you are. You can watch it in my Facebook page or you can watch it in my VIP group. And wherever you are, I can see your comments, which is a really fabulous thing about Facebook actually doing something that is nice for a change. Okay, so I've got them both open. I can see comments on both of them. I don't know how they do that, but I don't care. I'll take it. Okay, let's just get this set up here. Oh, hey, Sharon. Okay, so we got home. When did we get home? Today is Monday. We got home yesterday about 1.30, I guess it was, and whipped all the laundry out of the trailer, got it started, took out stuff of the fridge that's not going to last till next week and got the laundry done and today I had to go replace my brand new boots. Do you remember I showed you a picture of my brand new Kamek boots that were all nice and lined inside and so cozy and comfy? Well, they leaked like a sieve. It was awful. It's a good thing I had taken my old boots because I couldn't wear my new ones. And Heather got a pair exactly the same. And hers leaked too, only hers leaked worse than mine. Hi, Norma. Yeah, so today we went to the Soft Mock store in Woodgrove in Nanaimo and got an ex um, got refunds for them because I'm not wearing leaky boots in the ocean because your feet get really cold and wet. Yeah, so that was, that was my today. It was hit Costco. Hit Purdy's because I'm out of sugar-free chocolate, so I had to fill that drawer up too. And to, and I managed to get a card done. So don't let me forget, I'll show you a sneak peek of the three cards you can make with me. One of two ways for free. Number one is you can buy the... Um, 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 um waves of the ocean collection you know this this bundle and the paper and the foil and the embellishments you can buy those from me in march and then stamp for free in april hi carmen thank you i'm happy to be home or if you're a part of my team you can join for free i'm going to get the the recipes of the PDF um, are ready to go, and then I'll share it with my team. You guys just 
prep your own kits and buy the the collection yourself as a demo and then come and stamp with me to, for free. So free cards happening in April with the waves. And so let me, don't let me forget to share those cards. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. I think I've done enough talking. What do you think? This month, anybody who places a minimum $60 order is going to get a package of holiday rhinestones for free from me. And do you see what I just noticed about this package of holiday rhinestones? Can you see that one right there in the middle? Look at that one. That's supposed to be green, and it's not green. So I'm going to have to call them and tell them I have a defective package of rhinestones. Isn't that weird? I wonder if the other one is the same. Nope, this one's not. Huh. That's bizarre. Anyways, place a sixty minimum $60 order through me during March using my host code, and I'll send you a package of holiday rhinestones. Okay, so this, I got this card from Valerie. She, this is an embossing folder. It's quite an old one. Had, it has been around forever. But she just embossed it and then colored the embossing. Isn't that cute, cool? And of course, Wink Estella on the leaves. This one, I think, is also from Valerie. And it's the On the Horizon paper she used and stamped the birds. This is Sailing Home. And she cut this out of that, this designer paper, and then put a Blackberry Bliss scallop circle in behind it. That's cool. So, and I also want, I don't know whether I've showed this one to you. I think I might have. This one is Norma's card. Now we did a, we did a team swap back when... December or January, I can't remember, when we got the new catalog. And this is the card that Norma made using the Grassy Grove bundle. Isn't that amazing? <coughs> Excuse me. So it's a, I don't know what kind of fold it is. Shadow box. Yes, it's a shadow box card. And she did one layer out of black. And then in behind there's another layer separated by dimensionals that is Old Olive. Isn't that cute? I like it. And then she, oh, the back. Wait, that's the recipe. Then there's what she did on the back. So that's where you write. So she included more of the designer paper there and did the envelope as well. Yeah, so that is Norma. Thanks, Norma. I like it. Okay. So this card here. I'll just put this here. It's the recipe is nothing funky. I mean, it's got a it's got a thick white card base, regular size, five and a quarter by four that I've embossed with the birch embossing folder. Inside is father five and a quarter by four piece with some stamping. Then I die cut some white and did the stamping. This is more white. Now you can, I'm not going to, but you could cut the, die cut this out of this layer in behind here if you wanted to save um, paper, but do it before you emboss it. And then this is a piece of Sahara sand and I've stamped on it with Sahara sand and made the, the fence. And then what I did was I put it on dimensional on the ends put this one down and then you kind of bunch it up a bit just so that it kind of gives you a little bit of a curve there. So I'll show you how to do that. And then that's the envelopes, the same as the inside. Yes, Norma's cards are amazing. Okay, get my, what's that thing called? My mouse out of the way. All right, so the color palette, let me show you. There's a lot of color in here. Okay, Sahara Sand, Evening Evergreen, Soft Suede, Crumb Cake, Pear Pizzazz, Balmy Blue, and Memento are the inks that I'm using. Hmm, I didn't even use any Wink Stella on there. Isn't that bizarre? 
Then I'm using the Ocean Front stamp set on the Horizon stamp set. And there's, oh, I forgot to get that. Oh, forgot to get that stamp out. That's the stamp that I'm going to stamp onto the fence to give it the, um, you know, what it looks like when it's built out of wood, wood grain. There we go. On the Horizon dies. Oh, and I saw a really cute card. Oh, it's cute. I think I queued it up for this afternoon in my VIP group. I think I did. Let me, let me go back. This one, oh, I can't. Where the, uh, the artist created a card using this and this and this. Did I post that one already? I don't rem I think I had it queued up. But that's all she used was the three dies and it was on a white um a white card. It was gorgeous. Anyways, I'm gonna use these dies. Bert the bark in both bossing folder. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to bring my machine over. Ah, some things don't ever change. Stitch rectangle dies. I'm going to be using, I think it's this one. Yep, so the second to the largest and then this skinny one. And then I'm going to add in some pebbles, which are back in stock now. So if you've been waiting for the pebbles to come in, in they're back. Okay. My sleeves up. And we're gonna get busy here. Okay, I gotta get my machine. Oh. Well, it's nice to know that me going away on vacation hasn't fixed my my boo boos. Because I sent out an email to my club today and told them that <laughs> the next club orders have to be in by April. April the 20th, and it should have been March the 20th. So, yep, things just click along. All right, there's my base. One piece, two pieces. Why did I get three pieces? Oh, yes. Because I got a die cut. And pieces for the fence. And apparently, I am going to cut the sentiment out of the center one. Because I didn't bring a piece for it. So, so let me find the stamp. I have a lot of stamps that I'm going to be using. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten stamps I'm going to be using. Holy moly. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this in the center. This is the piece that I'm going to be embossing, but you have to stamp and die cut it first before you emboss it or you won't be able to emboss it or won't be able to stamp it afterwards. Okay, let's put this on here. Get it all lined up. So we had an amazing time in Tofino, except for, I think it was the second night we were there. Oh my God. The staff out there had a rip snorting party. And there is some group campsites up on a hill, kind of in the middle of the campsite. Hang on, I dropped it. Oh. There we go. So the campsite is kind of like a circle. And it's all flat here. The office is here. And then in the center, there's this big mountain. So they, and there's group campsites up on top of this. Well, it's a hill. It's not a mountain. There's group campsites up there. And that's where they had their party. And it was loud. Holy man. Now, they have quiet time starting at 10. So I sent an email to the campsite 
telling them about the strip snorting party. Now we knew the staff was there because somebody had unlocked the chain to allow people to go up there. So we knew that the, um, the staff and the management from the resort were there. So I just told them in, in their email that if things didn't quieten down at 10 o'clock, I was going to be calling the cops because it was so loud. It was awful, but it was just the one night. And it was the night after the resort opened for the year. So I can see why they would have it, but holy macaroni. Not everybody stays up till 10 o'clock at night. All right, that goes there. All right, so I've got I've got that layer done. And I've got that done. So I'm going to put those off to the side. And we'll do the fence next. So you can see the color colors I was working with this afternoon when I did my card because there it is. All right. Now I need this stamp and a block. Um, that and Sahara sand so I want to give it I want to give it some wood grain but I don't want to make it dark I don't want it to take over because I kind of want it to be in the background so I'm just going to now you don't have to stamp this first you can die cut it first and then stamp it afterwards if you want doesn't matter which way you do it I'm just stamping in there. And do this one. But our trip out there was amazing. We were walking 10, 10 to 20,000 steps a day. So one, one trip of the beach is 5,000, like it rounds out to about 5,000, not exactly 5,000, but, um, you just, I wonder if I can get them, no. So just pick, I want the, I want the wood grain to go sideways. If you want your wood grain to go up and down, you can do that too. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's do that. Get this out of the way a bit more. We'll do the wood grain the other way, just so you can see the difference. Hey, Leanne. Leanne and I were just talking on faith on we had a video chat. There's, there's that. My fence. Uh-oh, it's getting warm in here. Because I have a, I have a sweater on. Which is probably not the brightest thing to wear. But, it's okay. Okay, so that's, that's the fence. And you can see... You can see the difference of doing the wood grain sideways and doing the wood grain up and down. They both look good. So we got that done. And I didn't need that piece, so let's get rid of that piece. Put that off to the side. And I'm going to die cut this one, so I need the next to the largest and I'll run that through my machine at an angle because it goes through there better so did you guys have a good week what did you do without me for a whole week 
I'm sure you have lives. Okay, that's done. That's done. Okay, now we're going to build our scene. Um, I think I started with balmy blue. So this has a top, a middle, and a bottom. It has a set of two rocks and one big rock. And I'm going to be using these and that and that and that. So the only two I'm not using are those two. Okay, get the top. So this is the top one. Now it's it's straight on one edge and then it's kind of not straight on the other edge and the straight edge lines up with the straight edge ish. They're not um, exact. So if you're really OCD and you can't handle it when things don't match, the stamp set's not for you. But I've managed to let it go. So you would too. Oh yes, yeah, sun was amazing, wasn't it, Carmen? Oh, Bulldog's game. How's the bull Bulldog's doing? I'm going to stamp this upside down because then it's I'm stamping it closer to me. How are the Bulldog's doing? Like, I know nothing about hockey. There we go. Kind of in the middle towards the top. Is it almost playoff time or exciting things like that? There we go. So that's balmy blue. And then I'm going to use pear pizzazz for the next level. So that's this one. And it's straight along the top. And then this is crooked to match the crooked from where the dirt is. So we'll turn that over. Ink it up with pear pizzazz. Now I've seen this done as water. I've seen it done um, as mountains. I've seen it done as grassland. Um, so many things. Oh, and I did one. Oh, where did it go? I did one and used the sailing home bundle. So I'm just going to kind of line those up. And if it's not exact, it doesn't matter. Just got to let that part go. And there we are. So there's the grass. Now, if you wanted to make this into water, then just use a different color of blue. Or you could use the same blue, I guess. I wonder how that would look. I don't know. They are currently first on the island and third for BCHL. Two or more out of town games, their first play. Ask oh, that's awesome. They're doing good then. Man, wasn't it just like a couple of years ago? They were the bottom. The bottom of the bottom. Okay, so I'm using crumb cake. We're going to put the dirt in. Now the dirt is crooked. So it depends on which side you want up. You can do it this way. And then you would have big dirt down this end. Or you can do it this way. Which is the way I'm going to do it. And kind of had big dirt up here. But I want to try something. I want to get I want to get a dauber because I saw somebody nice. That's awesome. That makes it worthwhile going to the games when they're good. I saw somebody got a darker edge on this, and I don't know how they did that because I never took the time to read their post. But I want to see if I take this. And put, this is crumb cake, and just kind of, oops, got to put it down. Daubed some more ink right on the edge like that. I wondered if it would make it darker. So we're going to try it. You know, these things pop into my head and then I go for it. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So we'll see. Okay. I'm going to line this up. Sort of. Now, this is the one that does not match exactly, so you really have to let this one go. 
it kind of made it a little bit darker. I'm okay with that. Okay, so now I'm going to use the double rock. There's the double rocks. And I'm just trying to get rid of the colors I've already used. Soft suede, because I want it to be a little bit darker. I want the rocks to be darker. This is that lovely ink pad that I've washed. I still haven't had a chance to do my video for you guys, but I haven't forgotten. Okay, so I'm going to put that down right there. There we go. So there's soft suede rocks. And evening evergreen now. We'll put the tall... the tall um, bush over here and about there like that yay okay now I need to pull out pear pizzazz again and the little the little grasses and I'm going to put some little grasses right at the edge of the dirt, like this. And you can kind of put them down in the on the hill like that. Isn't that cool? I like that. Nice. Okay. Now, to me, when I saw this, I thought, this needs something else. So then I took my crumb cake and the blotches. And you know me and blotches. I love me some blotches. So we're just going to put some blotches right in the dirt. Like that. See, doesn't now doesn't that just finish it off? I think so, anyways. Oh, we didn't do the birds. Okay, memento. And the birds. Now this is where your Samparatus would come in handy. If you want to have your birds really dark, just stamp them a couple of times. And I'm fine. I'm fine with them the way they are. And I want this one to be hanging off the edge a little bit. And down, because I have to put the sentiment on there yet. Just leave it there. Don't rock it. Aha! Perfect. Perfect! I hope I have enough room for the sentiment. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Now, inside an envelope. I need soft suede and evening evergreen. We're going to put our rocks in there. And our double rocks right there. Like that. And my envelope. Come here, envelope. So I got, I took um, supplies to make 36 cards while I was away. I wanted to get some thank you cards made. So I took a whole bunch of designer paper and the flowering rain boots stamp set. And Heather and I finished all the cards. So my box, my big box, had this many cards in it left ready to go. And it's now full. And I'm so excited because... I don't have to worry about running out of thank you cards again. It was getting iffy there for a bit. But now, in March, don't forget, thank you card and holiday rhinestones are yours. Replacing a minimum $60 order. Yes, club orders qualify. Yes, the, the waves 
of the ocean collection qualifies. Okay, so that's the big one. So I'm going to take the little ones. I don't have to clean this because I had light, lighter ink on there. So I can just re-ink it with the Evening Evergreen. Look at that. Just look at that. Oh, speaking of songs. Oh, my God. My grandchildren were so funny while we were away. You know how I burst into song every once in a while? And I would get the eye-rolling, oh, my God, Grandma's singing again thing. Well, instead of doing that, they just rolled their eyes. And we'd be going along and, like, walking on the beach, and somebody would say something, and it would trigger a, a memory of a song, and I would go, there's a song about that, you know. And then they'd get the eye-rolling stuff. <laughs> it was it was fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did my computer do? Don't go there. Oh, so I just saw a, a post. My son, Phil, make, he has Phil's Naughty Creations. Let me show you. I know I'm in the middle of making a card, but this, this is important. So he makes, oops, hi. He makes stuff out of paracord you see it so he's making crosses with the ukraine colors blue and yellow and he says 25 percent of all proceeds from the crosses will go to ukraine aid so if you're looking for a, a cool um keychain there you go get in touch with me and i'll put you on to phil phil my son phil the local son or you can um, search for Phil's Naughty Creations. K-N-O-T-T-Y. Naughty. And, um, there we go. Okay, I'm back now. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's decide which side I want to use. Mm, I think that side. I'll get some adhesive on there. Maybe I can get my adhesive to work. Made so many cards, I went through an entire stamp and seal while we were gone, and half a package of dimensionals <laughs> was good. Right. Get this on here. This is going on here flat. There we are. Now this one. This one's going on here flat. And we'll just stick that in there like that. Okay, I have to make sure it's straight. Not quite. Oops. Fell off. Now it's not centered. Okay, let's try that. Okay. That's on there flat. This is the sentiment and it's going on dimensionals. So we'll just put some dimensionals on here. So next week we're going to be in Salmon Point camping again so this one I put it over to that side I think I'll put this one over to the other side but I'm going to take stuff with me and I'm going to do my Monday live and instead of collaboration on Friday um, I'm going to just make a card with you instead so next week I will be live and this Friday our collaboration is going to be Waves of the Ocean collection. Okay, so this is the the fence, and I've kind of bent the ends, and I'm just going to give it a gentle roll on the inside. So now when I put it down, I'm going to put those flat and then just kind of pinch it up like that, just so it um, has a little bit of height to it. We'll do the same thing to the other one. And then give it a little bit of a roll. 
don't want to be too aggressive with it because you can tear them. They're not the sturdiest things. So this one, we're going to do the same thing. See, like that. Okay, so now you guys are being awfully quiet out there. I need to find the one that I've been cutting up because I need to get some strips. I need four strips. Maybe a few more than four. Because that long one's going to need two. Okay. That's that one. And this one. I just need two more of these. One at the bottom and one at the top. You just have to make sure that these are skinny enough that they're not going to show. And we'll get the get the um, card front here. Take off. There we are. So this side, I'm going to take it right off of the side there and put it on the embossed one. And I'm holding this up on this end so that I can add, give it a little bit of height. I don't want it too high. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other one. Okay. And don't forget... I need to show you the sneak peek of the cards for the the waves class. So those that have left us early and are not watching to the end are not going to get the sneak peek. There we go. So there's our fence. You can see how I'll show it to you this way. It gives it a bit of height on there. Now, if you don't want that, then just put them on there flat. But I kind of like it. But I think this one is a little bit too high. Let's see if I can move it out a bit. It's going to get damaged in the envelope. There, that's better. Okay. Now, the only thing we have left to do is put... Let's move all my stamps out of the way here. If I can get my rocks out. Get to my rocks. Oop, got to order. Got to order some more. I have to order, open a new package because all I've got is one gray one and some brown ones left. And I really like how Stamping Up has stopped on a lot of them. They've stopped putting the adhesive there. I, I think that's amazing that they're doing that. Okay, so we'll put, oh, we'll put a rock here. I don't want it the other way though. Let's turn it around. I want to rock here and put a rock. I can slide it underneath there. Put one there and get another gray one. See, that's there's a light gray and a dark gray and then cinnamon cider. So I think this is smoky slate basic gray and cinnamon cider. And that is one of the dark ones. So let's put a, one of the light ones in there. Oops, that's the same shape. Well, let's mix it up a bit. We'll use this one. Let's pop that in there under the edge of the fence. And there we are. All I have to do is put the inside in. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. Okay, adhesive on the inside piece and look at that half an hour is all it took to do this card so that's not bad with all of those stamps and pieces and colors and stuff
There we go. There's the card. So you can now you can see the difference. Let me put it like this. This one, the wood grain is going this way. And this one, I did the wood grain up and down. So you can see what the difference is. And that, all I did was use this stamp to put the wood grain on there. Thanks, ladies. Carmen, Norma, Janet, I appreciate your comments. Now, which one? That one. Because <laughs> I haven't put my name on the back of this one yet. Okay, where did my stamp go? There it is. There it is. Okay, let's just stamp that. Now, I'm going to put this away. Thanks, Leanne. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, let's put these away and I'm going to give you... Oh, I'm going to use the... Uh, oh, no, they have their own envelopes. Because I don't want to show you the, the whole card. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should show you that. No, we'll just do a sneak peek. There's three of them. So, one is kind of a case from the catalog. And we'll just use this. So, there we go. There's a case from the catalog. That's one of the cards. Okay, that's part of one of the cards. That's one. So, these are the cards that you will get kits for to create um, for free when you order the collection using my host code. Or if you're part of my team. I'm not going to do the kits for my team, but and there's... So this one is a slimline card. And we sell these slimline envelopes now. So isn't that cool? But I did a bit of a technique on that one. Let's let me spread this a little bit more. So can you see the the technique I did on that one? Isn't that cool? I had fun making these cards. And then there was the one I did today. Now this one could very well be a shaker card. But I didn't make it into a shaker card. But you could. But I want to show you how I did the pilings. Look at this. Mother of Pearl cardstock. Look at that. Oh, and designer paper. So those are the three cards from my class. I used designer paper on one of them. I did a technique on another one. Get them out of the way. So there we go. So purchase the collection during March and stamp with me for free in April. If you are part of my team, just order it yourself. If you're not part of my team, then um, contact me and I'm happy to order it for you or you can just place it online using my host code. Ah, yes, the pilings. Uh-huh. Let me tell you, they're dirt easy. I learned that I wrote this down because I wanted to give credit. So I took the pilings and how to do them from Tammy Hewitt. Now, she is part of the um, artisan design team for Stamping Up. And I love the pilings because they really look like they're wood. You're very welcome, Janet. Thank you for joining us. Okay. So has anybody got any questions? If you're part of my team, don't forget tomorrow night is Team Stamping and Recognition Night. And Carla is going to be doing a make and take demonstration. She's put the, the recipe up for you to prep so you can create along with her it's going to be a an easter treat holder so i'm looking forward to that no questions okay well i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll be back on well i have a class on wednesday so i'll be back stamping on wednesday night tomorrow night is team night Thursday night is, what is Thursday night? Oh, 
Thursday, St. Patrick's Day. And then Friday, be collaboration with the um, Waves collection. You're very welcome, Norma. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. And I'll see you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles, and bye for now. Oh, Valerie, I'm sorry. You'll have to catch the replay because I did a sneak peek of the wave cards. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh huh. So this is the card we made. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye for now.